Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how they will distance themselves after their attacks do not work. After their attempts to belittle you, to do everything they can to try to lower and diminish your vibration. It also distort your vibration and your way of thinking. A lot of these beings that's stuck in this space and that uses that demonic playbook. And with my past experiences and this knowledge and information, we all understand that people double back around, you know, they'll double back around. We've reopened doors before. But what I've been noticing more, which is more prevalent, is depending on how much of their witchcraft they're actually trying to use, meaning their lies, deceptions, manipulation tactics. It depends on how fast they will ghost or disappear. Doesn't matter if it's same-sex associates, whether it's co-workers, they'll start keeping a space across, you know, the kitchens or the office, or just, you can be in the same room with people and you can still create that space spiritually to where you can just tell that there's so much distance in between y'all. But in all actuality, we never was really close like that in the in the first place, you know. We just, we just all kind of operated and communicated and liked similar things, whether it was a certain job we worked at and we got along the best out of all the employees or, you know, whether it was family members, we rocked together more because, you know, we did more of the same things. And we already know what's up with the opposite sex. Men dealing with females and females dealing with men. You know what I mean? But I've been having um, more deep dives into this, right? One, because I still like to engage with people. I don't force any relationships or do any of that stuff. Males or females, I, I won't do any of that. But, um... I realized I got this one counterpart and he's not growing or going anywhere, but he does do his normal ritual duties, you know, he does support his little ones and he is there as a father, you know what I mean? So I would never take that away from him. As far as the lessons he's teaching, I cannot really speak for that. Um, I, that's a whole nother subject about people being present and their little one's life but they aren't actually spiritually teaching them anything that would be prevalent or beneficial to them or their little one's future you know later on in life but when I compare and contrast all the notes and just some of my engagements it's like for one you have to get used to having short term relationships whether it's you know friendships you know you have to be not expecting long engagements with certain family members you know and you really should not expect any long lasting relationships when you are dealing with the opposite sex the only way you're gonna have the opposite sex works is if the same if these people carry on the same belief systems right but Back to my subject at hand, these beings, when they are working these spells on you, they are actually super attentive to see how much of it is working, how much control they're able to have over you, you know, how much of their lies and deceptions do you actually believe. These are things that give them power to them, you know. I never received any power or rewards for lying and manipulating you know I'm not saying I'm a thousand percent honest man in the world you know what I mean because when I have to go face these judges when I'm dealing with the system on a certain level I don't give a fuck about being honest with these beings hell no that is I'm an honest being in general but when I when I have to maneuver throughout the system I don't beat myself over those things. I'll beat myself down more for, you know, if I decided to deceive a friend or a family member or something like that in that nature. Because that has more meaning to me than 
operating with a robotic system and expecting trust, loyalty, honesty, you know, some kind of empathy. You don't, none of that is, is plausible, plausible or feasible in today's society. But with my male associate uh, that I've been kind of engaging with and we bounce back and forth on and off occasionally. It just depends on what kind of energy I want to get, you know. And uh, we haven't engaged in probably like, it's been a couple weeks now. He been doing life, I've been doing life, I'm assuming, you know what I mean? But he does these little weird manipulation things that I think is very feminine and it's very demonic. But it's like, he'll call me, I'll be busy doing something, I'll give him a call back when I'm not busy and he'll intentionally not answer the phone even though I know his routine and I know he's not doing shit you know what I mean and he also does that weird thing that I used to talk to him about with the females like bro I don't like when I call people they don't answer the phone and then they text me back like yo did you call like I don't if you don't want to engage you don't have to engage you're not being forced to engage but a lot of these beings they try to hold on to every source of energy that they possibly can. But as his tactics stayed the same and he kept adjusting, I couldn't help myself but to call it out. You know, one, because I'm a man, and two, that's just how I operate. I, I didn't have a choice but to call it out. After I called him out a couple times on it, you know what I mean, I figure out my own ways to communicate what I need to communicate to people or whatever. Um, there was like a text message one day, he had hit me with the, yo, that's how guys engage. We're going to say, yo, yo, you know, it, it's like just a short, ah, you know, attention grabber. And I hit him with the yo back. Never heard anything else from him since then. And I, I didn't get mad or anything because I've already been in this inner space of understanding. Like, a lot of these beings, when you aren't cooperating or listening on the demonic scale, they are going to pull away. They're going to subtract themselves. They're going to minimize their vibration. And then eventually they come back around as if, you know, not anything has happened. The difference when the comeback around happens is when we come back around people, whether we're doing it first or they, we open the door for them, we always address the elephant in the room before we just start carrying on in this relationship as if we didn't just have some turmoil. The turmoil happened, it's still there, and it became more present into the forefront as we reopened these doors or whatever. You know what I mean? And I just kind of gave that little short example of him doing these weird, witchy, demonic, feminine tactics. You know what I mean? Just on the strength that I, I've experienced this on so many levels. Like, since I've been in this space, I have received way more attacks than I did when I was operating in an unaware state. Cause I don't like to say in like a low vibration or a stupid state cause I was always like, I always had my intuition. I've always been an intuitive person before I was knowledgeable. So get into this space and just seeing like the experiences and then the knowledge and information, they add up that one plus one equal two, you know? And since we all say it's a spiritual war and that, you know, the gender roles only matter when you're actually in the vessel, but speaking as a whole and you being that spiritual being, you only take on the role that you're in that vessel, but at the old, old, overall picture, you aren't male or female. So, if you aren't male or female and then you understand what's going on in this spiritual war, then it would make sense that men and women can operate, men, men and women can operate on the same frequency without there being a gender role in place. 
And that's that gray area which you can either take it more righteously or you can take it more unrighteously. But that's always gonna that's that's always gonna be part of the process when you out here in the middle of this battlefield. So, you know, it's just keeping these things in mind and, and being aware and being in tune with everything that's been happening and that's been going on on the day to day. And understanding that these tactics are things that they will use. These are weapons. I wouldn't say a mass destruction, but they are weapons that they tend to favor, you know. And if you aren't aware of it, you would only look at it as, like, I could say, oh, only females be ghosting, you know. I only get ghosted by females, blah, 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 no, no, no. It ain't about just the ghosting of females. It's about people actually, like, it's, if somebody got into a car accident and they didn't hit you and something happened, that's different. You know what I mean? Like, you can look at it as a ghost, but they actually was trying to recover and do something that was would put them in a better state, their physical body, their spiritual mind state. But what these beings are doing, they're just pulling away because they understand that, all right, well, I was able to use them for their energy because they didn't have money to give me, but I was able to steal their energy and vibration. I was able to determine their mood swings, you know what I mean? Like, they usually an uplifting person, but once I start working my witchcraft, I, I can see that I'm changing the dialogue and the verbiage that they're using when they're communicating and engaging with me. They was more uppity, now they're a little bit more frustrated. They'll pull themselves out of that space, but I was able to frustrate them a little bit. You know, it's, it's all about that power and control. And I remember one day, this dumbass dude had the nerve to be like, um, I was, he had just was, we was about to do something. I think I was about to get on the game or something. And I was already doing my thing on there. I, I'm always doing my own thing. It doesn't make a difference. But I was already in there. He was about to get on. I was telling him, bro, my game about to be over. I'm already in like the third, fourth quarter. He like, all right, well, I'm about to start. I'm about to run a game right now. You know, send me one when you're done. I'm just saying to myself, no, I'm not. You can either wait for me to finish or you can do your thing and I'll do my thing. And that's where it kind of creates some friction at. Because I remember one day, like a few months ago, he had said, like, you, you be trying to have people wait on you. And I was thinking to myself, like, I don't give a fuck about people waiting on me, especially demonic people or low vibrating people. I don't give a fuck about I'm not trying to make myself feel important to people who are unimportant. It's that simple. You worried about thinking that I'm waiting for you, trying to make you wait for me because I'm doing something over here. And you're looking at it in this whole weird ass process, bro. I don't give a fuck about you enough like that. I don't play this tit for tat game with men in that department. Now I'll go blow for blow and hands for hands, but I'm not doing that petty ass. Oh well, he made me wait for him, so now I'm gonna make him wait for me. Like, bro, you are irrelevant. Until you start doing more with your life, you're doing little subtle things to make you feel more relevant. And I understand where he be coming from to a certain degree because he is. And his feminine energy, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't take care of his responsibilities as far as, like, over 100%. I would say he do about a good strong 30, 40, because being there for your little ones is, is pretty solid. But, you know, his situation is pretty masculine, and he's in his feminine, you know? So I, I try not to put too much emphasis on, you know... When he says weird stuff like that, like, because that's like saying, like, I tell my daughter, hey, wait one second because I want to finish cooking something real quick. Then when I finish cooking, I'm telling her to eat. Now she's telling me, hey, daddy, wait, because now I want to finish doing something. We do that occasionally because she'll be doing other things, but it's not at the degree of, her trying to get back at dad or or be petty because you know I was waiting and I'm not doing it back to be like oh okay it's it's a whole weird process and I only speak of you know the same sex right now because I'm always getting on opposite sex I already know how I feel about all this witchery out here with the females it's so much entitlement out here that I don't even expect to have long engagements with females anymore I used to like to build substance and rapports with females now right at right now at this day, time and day and age where i'm at right now about the past three four weeks 
I haven't even introduced anybody into my space. Like, uh, it's, it's literally becoming that detrimental to my health and, and my life that a lot of modern Western women in my vicinity is not worth it, you know? And if they don't believe in the hierarchy, which is creator, God, man, child, woman, child, then I'm not even cracking no more doors for it. Because I'm not going to be, you know, doing this, oh, well, I'll be in my feminine if, you know, you are masculine enough. That's like me saying, hey, I'm going to be feminine until you show me I can be in my masculine. Like, it's, it's all weird and witchy out here, you know what I mean? But it's just keeping these things in mind that they are constantly working their spells and their magic on you. And even the ones who you feel like are irrelevant in your space, you know, that neighbor up the street, that person around the corner, that being in that store that you always go to, you have to remember that these people are projecting this vibration tensionally. Manipulation, deception, and it goes along with all the pathological lying and contortion, extortion, all these other weird things that they, they, they like to throw in the mix, you know what I mean? So I just try to be super mindful. Y'all got to be extra mindful with these beings. And don't get into that space of wondering what happened to them if they just disappear. It's because what they was trying to do to you wasn't working. So they had to get out the way before you caught all the way on to them. They had to get out the way before you caught all the way on to them. Even if you was already hip and you was informing them, it still wouldn't all the way register to them until you use certain words to relay the message back to them. But I ain't want to run it up too long, you know what I mean? Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings of the